Today is 15th of February 2023 and I'm going to conduct your mock interview for the University of West of Scotland. So my name is Mr. Rose. Could you please tell me your full name? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, um, please speak. Uh, could you please tell me what's your name? Uh, yeah, my name is Zayed Farhan Azad. And where are you from? I am from Azad, Jammu and Kashmir, Rawalakot. That is the northern part of Pakistan. All right. So my first question from you is, uh, why do you want to move to U the UK? Uh, I just want to move to UK because of various reasons. First of all, the UK is exceptional education history back from 1806. UK has top ranked universities. According to QS World University ranking, five out of top 20 universities were from UK. Uh, the UK set an example for many, the UK education set an example for many other countries. Mm, it reflects the importance of British education job. So I believe if anyone who wants to get succeed should pursue higher education in UK. Uh, the UK education system is tense with industry. Therefore, students not just learn from curriculum, but they also develop professional skills according to modern age. Stat shows that 86% of overseas students are happy with their education at UK. There is no religious bounding in UK. UK is second most top destination after the USA for international students. That's why I choose UK for my higher studies. Sorry, I can't All hear right. you. All uh, right. You stated a sentence that, uh, you know, most of the students are happy only from the UK education. So uh, don't you think that the students who are uh, going to, the, uh, to Australia, America, they're also happy? I'm not listening to you carefully. Carefully, please speak again. I'm saying that you said that uh, students are happy with UK education. So those students who are going to the uh, to Australia, America, or any other country, so they are not delighted. They are not happy. Yeah, they are also happy. But uh, I, in my case, I'm pref I'm choosing UK because of uh, uh, I already told you the reasons. I also uh, I I want to also uh, choose. Uh, um, Australia, Canada, and uh, USA. When I was shortlisting uh, for university, then um, but I didn't choose to study there for many reasons. First, uh, UK, USA study visa is very, mm -hmm. very complicated and time taking. While the UK was uh, visa is smooth and uh, point based system. You know, fifty point for cash, ten for bank statement, and ten for uh, any English proficiency certificate. Mm -hmm. You can get a UK visa easily. Secondly, university, USA university fees are very high. I searched Princeton University. Their fee was $56,000, mm -hmm. which is very higher than UK universities. That's why I didn't choose to stay, study US and other countries. Okay. And what are the benefits of studying in the UK compared to your home country, uh, Pakistan? Yeah. yeah, the course I'm going to study MSc project management required a more innovation, technical, uh, more innovation, advanced technology. But due to my uh, country is underdeveloped, they are not providing facilities according to uh, the standards. Uh, so, I just, because, so that's why I choose the UK over my own, uh, home, home country, Pakistan. Secondly, UK... Uh, universities are globally recognized. Their education is worldwide accepted. While my country, Pakistan, uh, degree uh, universities are just uh, recognized from HEC. They are not worldwide recognized. Uh, third, the reason was is that uh, to uh, in my country, Pakistan, uh, master degree is take two to three years. While this degree, uh, if we, uh, I get UK visa, it will take only one year. That's why I choose. To prefer let me correct you uh i think the master degree uh, i think i have heard that 
The master degree also takes one year in Pakistan as well. Uh, but I think uh, it included in uh, uh, research, uh, they take two to three years, two, two years approximately. Hmm. You do research project. All right, that is fine. And why did you select uh, University of West of the Scotland for your higher education? Yeah, I choose University of West of Scotland for various reasons. Number one, U, uh, UWI is UK's most innovative modern university. UWI has been crowned Higher Educational Institute of the Year Award at Herald, Award, uh, Herald Education Award 2020. Uh, number two, U, uh, number three, U, U, uh, UWS has been, uh, uh, U, UWS was ranked first in teacher education, according to Q, uh, QS, according to Uni, uh, Guardian University Guide in 2022. Uh, number three, U, uh, UW, UWS has been uh, recognized in C, top 600 universities by Times Higher Education 2021. UWS has UWS is among 150 top youngest universities by Times Higher Education in 2021. Approximately 20,000 students are learning in UWS at, at different five different campuses uh, from 70 different countries, and 90% um, students are happy with their education at UWS. And uh, 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 most of our uh, most importantly, UWS teacher uh, teaching faculty are very highly qualified. They prepare students. All right, um, that is fine. So what course have you selected at the University of West of Scotland? I'm going to study MSc project management that is of one year course duration. Please tell me about this course. Hello. I'm, I'm saying that, could you please tell me about this course? Could you please give me a brief information about this course? Yeah, I'm going to study MSc project management. The starting date will be 7th May 2024 and end date will be uh, uh, 3 June 2025. I'm going to st um, uh, study pro MSc project management and their modules are postgraduate research method, uh, project management fundamentals, project in practice, project uh, project risk management, change management, sustainability and organizational strategy, M MSc final dissertation. And which one is your favorite subject? Um, module, I'm talking about module, module there. Yes. Which one is your favorite module? Yeah, the reason that's why I choose um, UWS was my, I find my favorite modules in UWS. There were, there are two modules that are my favorite. Number one is uh, uh, project in a uh, project uh, in uh, project risk management. After studying this module, it will easier for me to understand how to recognize, foresee, mitigate, prevent, and respond to any potential risk that might occur during the project. The second module was sustainability and, uh, and organizational strategy. It uh, include my it include uh, ex, it include expressing my goals, objective, core values, uh, determining uh, which problem to tackle first, setting priorities, uh, creating change management strategy and tracking advancement over time. So these were two my, uh, my concerning modules. That's why I choose UWS. All right, that is great. <clears throat> uh, which other universities uh, did you consider and why? Yeah, I uh, considered two other universities in the comparison of uh, UWS. And I um, compared these two universities on the basis of uh, fee structure, 
ranking and um, employability ratio. Number one university was University of Winchester. Uh, and this university is also providing a messy project management, but their modules were not of my interest. That's why I didn't choose to study University of Min West, uh, Winchester. Secondly, their fee is very high. Their fee was 17,450 pound and the UWS fee is at 13,750 pound. Um, and thirdly, their employability ratio is 92%, while the employability ratio of UWS is 97%. And uh, second university was um, University of Northampton. It was also providing MSc project management, but uh, uh, their course, uh, their modules were not of, uh, also not of my interest. That's why I skipped this number. Second reason was that their fee was much higher than UWS. Uh, their fee was almost uh, 16,500 pounds. And their employability ratio is um, 95%, which is also higher, uh, less than UWS. And their ranking is uh, 1,001 to 1,200, while the UWS ranking is 601 to 800, which is uh, low ranked because both of these universities are lower ranked than UWS. That's why I didn't choose these universities. Okay, uh, what facilities do you expect would be there at a w, uh, University of West of Scotland? Yeah, there are two types of facilities. Uh, one is academic and second is non-academic. If we talk about academic facilities inside the universities, there are huge library, both international and uh, nation, uh, local students can get benefit of this library. It has online self-service uh, self, self portal. Um, beside this, uh, there are huge uh, spaces available for studies, classrooms, and a student cafe. And if I talk about non-academic uh, facilities, uh, the, in, uh, there are many uh, facilities near to my university. Like if I talk about uh, historical building, there are British classic. Uh, so, uh, if I talk about historical building, there are um, Palace of Westminster, Westminster Abbey, Buckingham Palace, Windsor Castle. And if I talk about uh, restaurant, there are famous restaurant like British classic, Brick Lane, uh, international cuisine and uh, food street are also available near to my university. And also there are some famous parks like Barista Park, Dwick Park, and uh, if I talk about uh, um, uh, theater, theater, there are also some famous theater near to my university, right? Uh, Replica Theater, Royal Theater, and Shakespeare Theater. That's why Sorry. Could you please tell me uh, about uh, uh, how roughly do you know the university largest? Do you have any information about that? Okay. Uh, yeah, I know um, about UWS. UWS uh, has five uh, campuses. Um, number one is uh, uh, Paisley Campus. It is uh, established in 1848. Number two is uh, I campus, it was established in, I think, 1993. And uh, number third is Lancashire campus, and Dempfries campus, and London campus. It has five campus. Okay, um, all right. And at which campus are you studying? Yeah, I'm going to study London campus. All right. And uh, how do you control homesickness and what strategies do you think and do you plan to use to cope uh, with while studying in the UK? Yeah, um, uh, why, um, I know in the UK there are large uh, uh, Pakistani communities uh, there. So I don't think uh, so um, I, I will be homesickness and it is only just one year course and so it's not a very big deal for me. And how does like this university reputation and ranking uh, influence your decision to study uh, here? Sorry? 
I'm saying that how please, does please this repeat university uh, reputation and ranking influence your decision to study at this particular university? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Please, please repeat your question. I'm saying that what's what's your idea that how does this university, the one which you have selected, its reputation and ranking influence you, motivated you to to uh, choose this particular university? Yeah, if I talk about um, UWS ranking, it ranking it ranked uh, six hundred one to uh, eight hundred. And there, there is very, I think, very good ranking. And uh, their employability ratio is uh, 97%, which is very higher than among all UK universities. Uh, so uh, I decided to uh, choose UWS because uh, only, uh, not only their ranking and their employability ratio, but their fee is also very um, manageable. And their, their admission process is very smooth. Uh, we have not, only, we should, Hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes. Yeah, their admission process is very smooth. We should first clear pre-cash interview. Then we have to deposit our um, deposit fee and bank statement. And other UK universities are not doing that. They are first uh, demand um, your fee and uh, bank statement. Then they go for pre-cash interview. So I use UWS because UWS um, admission is very smooth. And how did your friends, family members, or academic advisor influence your decision-making process when like considering different universities? You you must had uh, you must uh, have a lot of options that yes I want to go that university this university. So how did your friends and all of them help you? Hello, sorry, interrupt. Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. My question was about that. How did your Paul's and family and academic agents influence your decision making process uh, when you were selecting different uh, universities in the UK? Yeah, I can hear you, but I think uh, it's due to internet again and again. All right. My question was uh, that how your friends, family members, and consultant influence your decision-making uh, process while you were considering different universities? Yeah, I uh, consult this with my uh, agent that uh, I want to study at UWS because UWS uh, is a high-ranked university in UK and their um, module is also of my interest. Yeah. So they just uh, uh, make a start process for me. All right, uh, that is fine. And could you please uh, tell me who is sponsoring you? Yes, my father is sponsoring me for my studies. He's a businessman and he has a real estate business plus two petroleum pump and one dairy farm. He can earn 5,000 uh, pounds monthly and uh, yearly approximately 60,000 pounds. Okay, and do you know what are the UKVI financial requirements for international students? Yeah, according to UKVI, uh, one um, who is going to study in London should maintain 1334 pound as living expenses per month and yearly it would be 12,600 pound. Okay, and are you interested in joining uh, association or professional organization after, after graduation in your field? After my studies, 
Yes, really? after your studies. Yeah. No, after my uh, studies, I have decided I should come. I will come back to my home country, Pakistan, and there uh, I have some top ranked organization in my mind, like Nestle, Unilever. I will get, try to get job there, and I'm pretty sure I will get job there once I get a degree with high percentage marks because UK degrees in Pakistan are stands out. And what opportunities, networks, internships, career help uh, is being offered by uh, UWS University? Uh, we could say UWS. Yeah, if the if such type of uh, uh, offers are uh, asked by me, I will definitely uh, accept this. No, do you know what <clears throat> kind of internships, what kind of uh, network opportunities, uh, and career help are being offered? Do you have any idea about them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, my proposed course is MSc project management, and uh, I think it it will be related to uh, project management, obviously. How long does your course last? Uh, it, it is a one-year course, and it will start in 7th May 2024 and uh, uh, will end in 3 June 2025. And what was your last qualification? My last qualification was uh, bachelor level six degree in applied geology. I completed this in 2019. So have you worked since you finished your last qualification? Yeah, after completion of my graduation, I got a job in Parkland Estate as marketing manager. Uh, so uh, now till date. And how your course will be assessed? Yeah, my course uh, will be assessed by uh, course assignment, uh, unseen exam, oral presentation, and uh, final MSc dissertation. And do you know what level your course is? Yeah, it uh, NQF 7 level. And uh, what qualifications will you be receiving? I will be receiving MSc project management. And did you consider studying any other course? No. Uh, do you do you have any idea about what are the responsibilities? What are your responsibilities uh, being a tire for a student? Yeah, as, it, uh, as an international student, I have to maintain attendance up to 85%. Uh, I will have to inform home office if there is any change related to, related to studies. Uh, I will inform home office if I'm not ex reaching as expected. And I should have to maintain my UK contact details, both in contact number and address. And I have to keep uh, my passport and immigration documents um, with myself and uh, only 20 hours per week is allowed no state benefit for tire force students um do you know whether you are entitled to work part-time in the uk yeah according to ukvi rules uh, i have allowed uh, 20 hours per week uh, but uh, i am not interesting uh, to do part-time uh, job there because my first priority is uh, to is uh, to complete my degree with higher percentage, and I have enough uh, um, funds in my account. All right, and have you got any refusal before? No. Uh, yeah, it was um, Dubai visit visa. And what was the reason? Any the reason, reason was mentioned? my profile photo was near. Yeah, my profile photo was not clear. That's why they rejected. And do you know how much accommodation will cost you in the UK? Yeah, um, accommodation. Uh, I already searched my accommodation with the help of website like um, amberstudent.com and I found my accommodation named as 
साउथ बैडमिंटी लंडन एस सी वन फाइव वन एन डब्ल्यू द एंड देयर वीकली रेंट इज टू हंड्रेड पाउंड एंड द वॉकिंग डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी वन आवर एंड ट्रेन डिस्टेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट एंड वॉक डिस्टेंस इज फिफ्टीन मिनट द नियरेस्ट ट्रेन स्टेशन इज क्वींस रोड पेलविक ट्रेन स्टेशन Okay, that is fine. Uh, so, is there any uh, financial dependent on you? No. Okay. Uh, do you have any relatives or friends living in the UK? No, I don't have any friends or relatives. Uh, are you UK. planning? Uh, are you single or married? I am single. So, do you have any intentions getting married in upcoming twelve months? No, I don't have such type of any. Yeah, after my graduation, uh, so master degree. All right, that is fine. Thank you so much. Uh, our team will inform you regarding your interview. Thank you for your time. Thank you.